We're here today below Wyvernhoe Dam in the mid Brisbane and today we're going to do some electrofishing surveys of the river and check the numbers and um, record some information about lungfish in the river. Electrofishing is basically using a boat with a power source on board and it puts a mild charge into the water and that stuns the fish and immobilises them long enough for us to catch them in the nets and bring them on board. Absolutely doesn't harm the fish at all and they recover as soon as you release them. We do this because lungfish are a really important protected species that we're lucky enough to have in our waterways in southeast Queensland and we want to monitor them over time to make sure the population's healthy and they're thriving. For the surveys what we do is we catch the lungfish and we check them for previous tags. We implant them with a microchip tag and that gives us a unique identifier for each fish that we catch and over time we can build up a picture of how many fish are in the river how well they're growing, so we take their measurements of length and weight to see that they're healthy. And we also check other things like um, signs of um, uh, interaction with each other. They often nibble each other's fins when they're um, together. And we also check whether they're males or females. And it's all part of working out how the population is going and whether they're increasing um, in their numbers over time. The reason why we focus these surveys on lungfish in the mid-Brisbane is because they are a vulnerable species. Um, they are known to be affected by a range of activities and one of those things that we want to make sure is not happening is that um, the population isn't declining unnecessarily. So monitoring this stuff really tells us that the population is stable and healthy over time. The Brisbane River is a popular um, spot for fishing so people just need to be aware that when they catch a lungfish they are protected and you should return them back to the water as quickly as you possibly can with minimal harm by either cutting the hook free if it's deep in their throat or carefully removing it and letting them go quickly.